You may have noticed in some of the previous lessons that some of my citations imported with incorrect or incomplete information. In this lesson, I will explain how to edit citations and how to enhance them with notes and tags. Recall the New York Times article from Lesson 2 that imported as a web page rather than a newspaper article. If I click on the item in my Zotero library, the um, attachment will open if I double click and the item details will appear on the right hand side. Upon closer inspection, I might realize that this item is not actually a newspaper article, but in fact a web page. It's a topic page from the NewYorkTimes.com website. I can still edit the other information by simply clicking in the fields and typing in whatever is more appropriate. For example, I could change the title to Global Warming and Climate Change. There's no listed author, but if there was, I could edit it here. And I can also add multiple author, authors by clicking the plus button. So just for the sake of argument, if I add an author, then I'll be able to add others. And you can also toggle between listing the last and first names in separate fields or listing everything in one field. To delete authors that are unnecessary, click the minus button. We do have an updated date for this article, so I can enter that here. In the Notes tab, you can add quotes, paraphrases, or your own thoughts. Click the Add button to create a new note. You can edit it here or in a separate window. You can bold portions, create bulleted lists, and use other standard editing features. I recommend that if you take notes on a long document, you add the page numbers to make citing easier later, later on. You can also relate notes to one another or add tags specifically to certain notes. You can add multiple notes to one document. And you can delete notes if you don't need them anymore. You can also add tags to items, such as greenhouse gases, Side. anything that you think you might want to search later to help organize your library. You can even relate documents to one another. For instance, if this, if this article is cited in the Wikipedia entry, I might add a related entry of this web page. If you're interested in more information about tag, notes, and relations, let me know in the comments section. If there's enough interest, interest, I may create an additional tutorial that goes in-depth with this functionality. In the next lesson, I will go over how to organize your citations and share them with folders and groups. If you need more help, please don't hesitate to ask a librarian at library.uttyler.edu.